Good morning, Israel. Good morning, believers. J.D. Nigel, Word of Truth. Bible teaching with Jeff Deloach. Jeff Deloach. Sorry. Uh, good morning, good morning. Heavenly Father, bless this message. Bless the ears that hear it. Give us peace. Understanding. Willingness to learn. Willingness to look at you for who you are. For real, for real. <clears throat> so, um, last night I was listening. Am, let me pray again. Heavenly Father, bless your family, your children that are here. Give us understanding, wisdom, knowledge, might, strength, the will to do your will through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You're welcome. So, I've been. You know, I did a lesson a while back. Still itching, man. I'm still itching. I'm going to put some fucking hydrocortisone on. I can't take it. So, I might be dying. If I am, I deserve it. <laughs> I'm a dick. Something's wrong. Anyhow, um, I've been, I did a lesson on the miry clay in the iron because, um, I think a lot of the interpretations that these Christians came up with, I don't really see it the way they see it. Uh, let me read it. It's the, um, the image in Daniel two. It's the image, the image of brass, gold, silver, iron, and miry clay. Let me read it. The image head was of fine gold. His breasts and arms were of silver, his belly and his thighs of brass. So, Babylon, gold, silver, the medial Persi Persian, the brass, Greece, and then the Roman Empire came after that. Um, Let me see, the kingdoms of Babylon, Medo Persia, and Greece. At the same time, they eliminated the Roman Empire from the picture. So, even in the Bible teaching down here, it's it's not saying Rome is the iron, I don't think. A lot of people say, see, what we don't understand is that the kingdom of God, let me, let me say it. The kingdom of God is already in us. For for someone like me, this reads totally different. For someone like me, let me let me read through it. The iron means God's kingdom. Cuz it says in the Bible Jesus will reign with a rod of iron. So you hear all these crazy um, unbiblical explanations for uh, for this interpretation. So let me read it and let me tell you what I think. It says, his legs were of iron, his feet part of iron and part of clay. Thou saw it till that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and broke them in pieces. 
Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floor. And the wind carried them away and no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. So this is my interpretation of that. The three, four major kingdoms, Babylon, Medio persia Greece, and Rome. Those are the gold, silver, brass. The iron is this time after Jesus. The kingdom has come. So the ones that believe, we're iron. The miry clay are these unbelievers, these knuckleheads. They're just dirt. They're just, they're dirty, they're dirty scoundrels. They have no spirit. They have no power. They're basically just puppets of Satan. They're, they're, they're clay pigeons. You understand what I'm saying? In the mountain, this great mountain that came down and filled the whole earth, that's the new Jerusalem. That's when... That's when this shit is over. When this fucking 3D junkyard gets destroyed. 3D junkyard. So, the devil's trying to take me out. This place hates me. I, I get through it by the grace of God, but, um, where'd that lady go? What are you doing, lady? She's like me, she's trying to walk. Poor thing. And smoking a cigarette. Sick as fuck. It looks like. Poor thing. Anyway, um, so the, to me, the, the iron, we're the iron. And the great mountain that comes down is Jerusalem. We're, no one's going anywhere. God's coming down to us. The earth is our home. When it says we'll be in the clouds, that's the spirit. You're gonna grow, we're going to go up in the clouds and we'll be with Jesus forever. However the saying, however the verse goes. I don't, I don't stay on that verse because it doesn't, it doesn't mean anything particular to me other than the Lord's spirit is in us. We're in the cloud already. The iron is in the cloud already. I'm already going to be with God forever. I don't know what's going to happen to the miry clay. But anyway, the interpretation, this is the dream. And we will tell the interpretation thereof before the king. Thou, O king, art a king of kings, for the God of heaven has given thee a kingdom, power, and strength, and glory. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven, has he given into your hand, and has made you a ruler over them all. Thou art his head of gold. He's talking to Nebuchadnezzar. And after thee shall arise another kingdom, inferior to yours, and another third kingdom of brass which shall bear rule over all the earth. So that's talking about the Medio Persians and the Greek, Grecian Roman Empire. The Greco, Greco Roman, sorry. Greek, 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 Greco Roman, Greece and Rome. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron for as much as iron breaks in pieces and subdues all things. And as iron that breaketh all these, shall it break in pieces and bruise. That's the Lord. That's our kingdom. That's us. We're going to fuck these. We, we've, already, we've already taken over all of them. When Jesus came and the Romans had their one last little blast. And they destroyed the temple. It's been the iron and miry clay ever since then. I'll explain. I'll read it to you, and I'll explain what I'm why. 
why I believe this. And whereas you saw the feet and toes part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron for as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay. What is that? That's us mixing with these shitheads. I had, I have three children from three different women. And part of the reason Benjamin goes out and, and has bunches of children is because some of these women that were having parental relationships with, were having children with them, were, were conceiving with them, we're, we're conceiving children of the kingdom and there's just going to be a small bit of these devil women but that's all that's all there is going to be left of them is the beautiful iron children that came out of these dirty miry dirtbag ducks these these clay ducks these fucking non-player characters that's the miry clay the iron is the kingdom of god these fuckers, man. And the toes of the feet were part iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. <sighs> Let me get broken. Destroyed, probably. Fragile. Brittle or fragile. What's a clay duck meant to be done? Fucking blasted into pieces. That's what the miry clay is. A bunch of clay ducks. You guys, are, you guys following me? So, it's so hard right now for me to um, listen to messages because there's very few people that are telling the truth. Shade Stone, you guys might want to check them out. Shade Stone channel. Shade, like shade, stone, like stone. Shade Stone, I'm not sure if it's all caps. You'll see him pull up. Long-haired guy. Really soft-spoken, sweet, sweet-hearted, tender brother of mine. And um, I trust him um, to a certain extent. He's really trying to explain some things. He doesn't have it all, but he knows he's missing something. And he, sh he shows you that he's trying to figure it out. That's what I like about him. He's actually calmly... He reminds me of myself while wow, the birds are going crazy right here. Hey, birdies. Hey, guys. Yeah, where the where the fowl, where the birds are. This world is turning really weird for me. Where the birds are, what's to say? That's where the you'll find the carcass. I'm like a carcass. I'm a dead. I'm I'm a dead man walking. It's already went by. So the so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. That's where we're at right now. And whereas you saw the iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. It's the weed and the tares. It's the sheep and the goats. It's the iron and the clay. We don't mix with these fucking beasts. Am I lonely? You betcha. <laughs> I don't know how to break out of the loneliness of um, being here with these clay ducks. Because 
because here come the doves because the way we are the love we have it doesn't mix with these it doesn't mix with these the doves are going crazy wow they're coming all right here hey guys Anyhow, let me continue reading. Whereas you saw iron mixed with miry clay, let me get the miry clay. The miry clay is ceramic, <laughs> right? Like a ceramic duck. There's a squirrel. <laughs> All the animals, they hear my voice. They're going crazy over here. The doves are coming. The squirrels are coming. Hey, buddy. He's jumping around the bush up there. Anyhow, so the ceramics, the clay ducks, he's whipping his tail. Hey, daddy, buddy. I see you. You want to see him? No. Probably as soon as I turn the camera around, he'll, he'll dart out. He was posing there for a minute. Um, you saw the iron mixed with miry clay, the ceramic ducks. They shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. That's the iron. Which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. But it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms. And it shall stand forever. The iron. I heard someone did, trying to break this down. Fucking GMS is really there's. The more I listen to those guys, I don't even have to. I don't even get mad anymore. They're just stupid. They are so stuck. I'm so glad I didn't get stuck. Let me see what I got. So glad I didn't get stuck. Believing something I question the Bible I've questioned I've questioned people's interpretation of this book I've been I've been doing it for a few lives now I never fell into their bullshit I don't remember if I did I mean in this life I start I listened but I wasn't always going with what they said. That's the beauty of being on this channel. Instead of out there in the internet influencer world. I'm the real deal. I'm not going to tell you. <clears throat> I'm not going to speak Christianese to you. So you're like, oh, he's such a good pastor. I'm no pastor. I'm a fucking prophet. I'm not here to lead anyone anywhere. I'm here to destroy. I'm a destroying angel. I'm meant to be taken down. I'm, me I'm meant to cause so much trouble that they want to kill me. And that's what's happening. I'm I'm dying. Um, for as much as you saw the sa the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands and that it broke in pieces, the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, the gold, the great God has made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain and the interpretation thereof sure. He's going to, when Jerusalem comes, everyone's going to have to bow. That's what it means when it says it broke the brass, the clay, the silver, the gold, does it say, and the iron. It broke in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay. We're all going to be broken. No one, no one gets away without bowing their knee.
Then King Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. And the king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is, of a word of truth it is, that your God is a God of gods and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets, seeing you can, could it, you could reveal this secret. It's not a secret anymore. We're the iron. Don't let people tell you that's that's the Roman Empire. No, 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 no. We're the iron. We don't mix. We don't mix with this miry clay. We're the angelic host. We are iron because we last forever, and we're strong, and we have we have might. Why? Because we're spiritual beings. We're not fucking. What was it? Apostle Gabar. What an idiot. He was doing the same. He was doing the same. I'm going to get this before we go. So you guys understand that, right? I'm going to, I'm going to pivot. I'm going to go back to, cause I got to, I got to show you how stupid these black Hebrew ignorites are. So I went, remember I was telling you we're angels. I can't even, I can't even remember what this idiot says. He's so stupid. Um, it's right here. Where is it? Don't fall down before me. 22? Where is it? Book of Life. Oh. 19. Gabar was trying to break this down. <laughs> and he totally fucked it up. He's talking about how the... He was trying to say how the angels... The angels come talk to us. We're the, we're the prophets. We're the men of the Lord. The angels come and minister to us. Dude, either you're an angel or you're not. You minister... Your own spirit ministers to your human fucking brain. You fucking knucklehead. Gabar... You are one dumb fucking New York nigga, man. Let me get it. And he said unto me, right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, these are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, see thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and thy brethren. He, he couldn't just read it for what it says. I am your fellow servant. I'm just like you. I'm a servant. And your brother that have the testimony of Jesus. Jesus, worship God for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. I I just want to reach through the phone and hurt this motherfucker, this jackass Gabar. He's such an idiot. He's such a black power retard. He's, he's, the angels are somewhere else. The angels are doing this. The angels are doing that. No, nigga. You are an angel if you weren't such a fucking clay duck. These clay ducks, man. They're just, they're designed to, to make everyone a clay duck. They're designed to pull your spirit out of you and make you a dirty fucking miry clay dirt bag. All you are is flesh. All you are is flesh to these guys. They're so fleshy. They're so pharisaic. Pharisaic. They're Pharisees, but they're parasites. Pharisite. All right, I'm going to go. Um, there was something else I wanted to talk about today. Let me think about what it was. I'm going to do two. I'm not going to be... I'm not going to do a message for a couple days, so. Oh, here it is right here before I go out. And the armies which were in the heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goes a sharp sword that 
with it he should smite the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Same page. God took me here for a reason. And he tread the winepress of the fierceness of the wrath of Almighty God. And on his vesture he had a name written, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Not Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekha Kadash. You black Hebrew ignorites.